Howdy, guys. Welcome to night number eight of the Overnight Feeds Recaps. Welcome to a Thursday eviction night. Well, maybe. It's supposed to be, but now we don't know what's going on. We're going to talk about all of that. Been an interesting 12 hours inside the Big Brother house, we think. All right. Now, first of all, before we get into what we know happened and a whole lot that we don't know, do y'all realize we're only a week into Big Brother season 24? Past few seasons, we've gotten spoiled by having live feeds from the very beginning. I'm so glad we do. My season, we didn't start live feeds until after the first week. Can you imagine if we were only just now getting the live feeds turned on, how much we would have missed about what has been going on in this house? So I'm glad Big Brother went ahead and started out live feeds on on night number one. Uh, It it makes such a huge difference. Uh, So thank you for that. Now, the big story. Uh, We had our episode last night. Uh, Michael was shown winning the veto, pulling himself off the block. Taylor went up in, uh, in his place. We saw some of the, uh, the conversations that led to some of the, uh, the, the controversy, the, the, uh, everything that, that went down with Taylor uh, over the past few days. We saw that. But the big story is that around 8.30, 8.45, Big Brother time, we lost the feet. Uh, and they've been off all night long, ever since that point. Very unusual for a Wednesday night before an eviction. It just doesn't normally happen. Uh, So we don't know what's going on. Now, there is a lot of speculation, and that's all it is, is speculation, but a lot of speculation that Paloma may not still be in the game, Uh, may have been removed. We don't know why. Uh, Now, first, let me point this out again. Speculation. This is only rumor. I don't want anyone saying that that Cliff Hogg passed on. Now, this is strictly a rumor uh, that's going around. It it has not been confirmed by any official source, although one usually reliable source uh, says that they were told by an insider that that this is a case that Paloma has been removed. So, So we've got that. But we just don't know, and we're not going to know until the feeds come back on or until the Big Brother production makes some type of an official announcement. The second point is, if Paloma is gone, we don't know if it's a result of a, a medical issue, a self-eviction, a rules violation, or something completely different that, that we just don't know about. Uh, so what do we have to suggest that Paloma may be gone? And again, it's just a rumor. Uh, but what do we have to suggest that that could be the situation? Well, we did have her missing from the, the live feeds uh, for s- several longer periods of time yesterday where she just wasn't, wasn't there. Uh, for example, Brittany held a, uh, a relaxation, meditation, hypno- hypnosis, hypno- hypnotherapy session uh, for all our house guests. Paloma wasn't there. Now, can I say, you're not allowed to sleep during the day. Uh, If I find out, and I don't know that the house knows that Brittany is an official hypnotherapist, but if someone asked me to participate in a session that involves closing my eyes and relaxing, uh, I think I could get into that. Uh, that, What a way to get around the no sleeping rule. In fact, Turner apparently fell asleep during the hypnotherapy, so kind of off the the tangent there. But uh, Paloma was not there uh, for that. I had heard at one point uh, that, that one of the house guests potentially said something that Paloma maybe was, had been chilling in a diary room for a couple hours. During my season, uh, and, and I think during all seasons, you're told if you ever need to come into the diary room and just talk and chat and hang out or whatever, we'll let you do it. Just come in. Of course, they love to have you come in and just spill your guts and talk about whatever. But it does represent a safe haven if someone just absolutely needs to get away. There's plenty of people have gone in there and done a lot of crying, a lot of yelling, whatever it takes to kind of open up that, that relief valve every once in a while. And so uh, Paloma apparently had gone in there to chill uh, a little bit. And I can certainly see that happening. Uh, Now, if she was removed from the game uh, and based on the live feeds and her not being there, you know, while they were still on, maybe Uh, if Paloma has been removed, the next question is why? And we may not ever know for certain. You know, sometimes we just hear that, you know, decision was made or, or whatever. But if she was removed, why? Well, first of all, she was probably considered to be in violation of the rules in her continued pledges to invest her winnings uh, in the other house guests. Sharing prize money, promising to share prize money 
It is absolutely not allowed by the rules that we all sign off on when we play Big Brother. Uh, but I really, really doubt that she would be evicted for this. Well, others have violated the rules in the past and, and just received a warning from production, told to shut it down and everything else. Uh, and, and so I would not expect that to be cause for removal, especially this early in the game. Uh, someone can promise all kinds of stuff about how they're going to win 13 weeks from now and give you some money. I don't think it has as much relevance as if you're in the, the final four or five and you're making promises that have a little bit more validity to them. So I don't think that's the case. Uh, but but I do think she was in violation of, of that particular rule. Maybe she was called out for it and maybe that helped accelerate other issues or concerns. I don't know, but I don't think that's the case. So what if it was medical? Uh, what if it was a, a just a mental health crisis? Paloma has seemed rather frantic in, in her conversations, especially over the last few days. And some of her statements about uh, simulations and, and uh, just some other things seemed rather odd uh, and not really game related. Uh, and we did have other house guests that were noticing uh, several comments, people talking about how she was kind of just everywhere and you know, going on and on with it. So other house guests had, had made a few mentions of it as well. Uh, and she did say during a, a discussion up in the HOH room on Tuesday night, I think, they were all talking about social media. And Paloma mentioned at that point that she had suffered uh, a panic attack, an anxiety attack in the past. So maybe, maybe she just uh, uh, had a little bit of an issue and, and just decided it was better not to stand out. We don't know that. Rumor. I can't say enough times. Everything is just rumors and speculations. Uh, but here's something else. Uh, just something that came to mind. Julie warned these house guests that one of the backstage ladies, their game could come to an end tonight at eviction night. They couldn't be nominated, but their game could come to an end. With that in mind, if Big Brother really wanted to ramp up the stress, and we know they love to do that, if they really wanted to ramp up the stress, they could have put the suitcases of the three VIP girls in that storage room, along with Terrence and Taylor's suitcases, and, and made all of them pack in preparation for this evening. It is a huge slap in the face or, or, or welcome to reality, uh, recognizing that your game is at such a risk when you see your suitcase sitting in that storage room. It really hits home. It's, it's, it's tough. Uh, if they wanted to really stress everyone out, they could have put those suitcases uh, in the storage room and, and forced all three of those girls to pack. Uh, they didn't. Is it because they, they were already concerned about the stress levels of one or more uh, of the ladies that were part of the backstage uh, crew? I don't know. I, I don't know. But I had already thought, why aren't they giving them suitcases just to get everyone that much more nervous? Uh, they did not do so. Uh, now, here's the thing. So what if it is medical? What if it is a uh, just a, a little mental uh, situation, uh, mental health and you know, doing what's best concerned for, for everyone involved. That house is stressful. It does a number on all of us that play the game. 24-7 that you're in there, uh, no access to anything except uh, that house, knowing that people are gunning for you, paranoia, uh, everything that goes into a game of Big Brother, it really builds up and can, can create a lot of issues for everyone. It's in the house. Now, remember this as well. We've been watching for a week, but these house guests have been playing Big Brother for a lot longer than a week. First of all, the tryout process lasts forever. And so you're already starting to, to think about Big Brother a lot and everything. But in addition to the week in the house, they've spent a week, a week and a half or so in sequester, cut off from everything, cut off from their support structure back home, cut off from communication, cut off from everything that represents a, a normal, regular life. So they've are, they're already two, two and a half weeks or so into this game. So, uh, you know, that, that could be part of it as well. Uh, it's, uh, it's hard. Uh, there's a reason that all of us have to go undergo a psychic evaluation before we ever even get accepted into that house. It, 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 it does a number on you. It absolutely does. I have full sympathy for everyone who, who plays that game, who puts themselves out there. For all of us, for entertainment values, I have full sympathy with them. Uh, if, if there are any mental health issues, 
I, I just what's best for for all the house guests. You got to keep that in mind all the time, right? All right. Now, could it be something else that has caused the live feeds to go down? Possibly related to the backstage twist? Did they have some kind of competition last night as a precursor to to tonight's eviction episode? Yeah, it's possible, but there's a couple of things. One, sometimes when that happens, you'll see on the uh, the the kitty cat screens and all that some text saying the house guests are away doing a competition or something like that. We didn't have any verbiage suggesting that. We haven't had any comment from Big Brother. I would think they'd want to shut down some of these speculations if that was the case. And here's the other thing. Julie said during a preseason interview that as viewer, viewers would learn about this backstage twist, the full details of it early in tonight's episode, the house guest wouldn't find out until later uh, in the live episode. That would pr- seem to preclude anything having happened last night that's related to the competition. So I don't think it has to do with the backstage twist, but maybe. All right, so let's assume, let's just assume the rumor that Paloma is gone turns out to, to actually be the case. So what happens tonight? God, they've got to be scrambling if this is the case. I think we still have an eviction vote, and I think someone is still going home. Uh, Could production recount America's vote and and perhaps declare Paloma the winner and safe? If that's the case, and she's kind of removed from eviction considerations, competitions, everything else. So you preserve all the game mechanics uh, of the backstage twist. Uh, But but I don't think they'll do that. I I really don't. And I think Brittany wins this vote tonight. Could be wrong, but I I don't think they'll do that. Instead, I think Brittany will will win America's vote and be safe. Now, we don't know what the backstage twist is, but I've assumed that maybe Pooch gets to pick one of the remaining two to promote to backstage boss for next week, and the other one gets demoted and has to compete with whoever's been voted out, and the loser of that competition goes home. Just a guess on my part, but if that was the case, uh, Brittany still receives safety. I think Alyssa would then automatically be promoted to next week's stage boss, since she's the only person left, and instead of someone getting demoted from the backstage crew and having to go up against the, the voted out house guest, which I, we still think is going to be Taylor. Uh, but instead of that happening, uh, then the, uh, instead of Taylor, then having to battle against whoever was demoted from the backstage crew, instead she would just be sent out in the house. The twist would be explained, but it wouldn't be in play for this particular week since someone had already gone home. So we would end up losing uh, Taylor as the result. Just a guess on my part. But here's another consideration. What if a decision has been made to not have an eviction tonight at all? That way, if you do that, the timeline for the season will be the same. I I assume they only planned on losing one house guest tonight, and that represents their timeline for an 82-day season. If they suddenly lose two house guests instead, it can gum up all kinds of stuff. They got plenty of time to correct it going forward into the season. But if they didn't have a live eviction tonight, they, they still preserve only one person being lost. So it shouldn't affect anything at all going forward in terms of what they've got planned. Uh, but how rough is that for Daniel? If you have that as HOH, he had to put three people on the block, three, three people on the block. Uh, have three people potentially now upset with Daniel and coming back to target him. And if no one ends up going home, then that, it's rough for the HOH uh, to have it. Now it's rough for Taylor too, but uh, uh, if she has to go home without getting the chance to compete. Uh, but I don't think they're going to do that. And if they don't have a live eviction tonight, how do you fill in a live episode uh, to finish up tonight? I, I don't know. It, it's going to be very interesting uh just to see how that happens but regardless of what happens uh we'll all be watching the feeds i twitter uh instagram all social media is going to blow up as soon as those feeds come back on Uh, assuming they come back on before tonight and they may not because typically on a thursday you've got a lot of shutdown for live feeds anyway uh we as house guests get locked up in the hoh room while little big brother elves run around downstairs setting up cameras for the best shots for the live show and doing whatever they do we don't know because we're locked away Uh, but because of that you lose a lot of the live feeds on thursday anyway we may just lose them until till tonight it may be a complete mystery Uh, and if that's the case there's going to be a lot of people watching big brother this evening to figure out exactly what's going on 
But regardless of what the situation is, whether we've lost someone for uh, for voluntary reasons, for medical reasons, for involuntary reasons, whether it's got to do with a twist, regardless of the situation, let me just finish off by uh, this morning by, by saying this. All 16 of these house guests need some compassion and understanding. We, it's very easy out here watching uh, to, to judge and, and criticize. And sometimes behavior is, you know, it is, does, does warrant a little criticism and judgment, but uh, it's easy for us out here where we see everything that's going on to, to make a lot of judgments inside that house where you're dealing with paranoia, stress, limited information, not knowing who to trust, who to believe, who not to trust, not to believe. It's tough. Uh, we just need to give these house guests uh, some, some love and understanding and realize that at the end of the day, uh, they're there putting themselves out there, putting a lot of stuff at risk for our entertainment. Keep that in mind, uh, regardless of what happens tonight. I think that's important. I, I try to stay positive, and I, and I hope everyone else can as well. There you have it, guys. I've got a little more sleep last night than, than I planned because of this, but uh, we don't know. Uh, and again, everything I just said over the last 15 minutes, speculation. Uh, we'll find out this evening. Until then, I'll be back tomorrow. I have all kinds of stuff to talk about tomorrow. But until then, guys, have a fantastic Thursday. Enjoy the mystery. Uh, very interesting. Uh, y'all have a fantastic Thursday. I will see y'all again tomorrow morning. Till then, SKD 143. Cheers, my friends.